Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and uh, this next video I'm going to make here, there's already a video in the Game Seller Cookbook uh, kind of like this, but it used random numbers, um, but a lot of people were having issues with uh, a set number uh, not working properly. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, so basically what we're showing here is how to interpolate your score up, so it's kind of like a ticker, so it's counting up instead of just switching to the score. And um, so I have this white actor here, and that's what we're going to use to display our score. So I'm going to put display text, and I've created two attributes. Um, I'll show you them now. I've created score, and that's an integer, and old score, which is also an integer. And um, I'm going to go into the actor again, and we're going to tell it to display the score. So game.score, and I'm going to choose uh, 88 pixels, and I'm going to choose black. And now, this is where the magic happens. What we're going to do is we're going to create a rule when touch is pressed. And so you'll do anything you want to do to trigger. So when, you know, a guy shoots a bullet or something. But I'm just going to do when touch is pressed. We're going to change attribute. And we're going to change game old score to game old score. And I'm going to go plus 200. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a rule and we're going to say when attribute game dot score is less than game dot old score we're going to interpolate game dot score to game dot old score. So whenever the score changes, it's going to automatically change the game dot score, but it's going to interpolate the number. And we're going to set that to 0 0.4 uh, for speed. So I'm going to hit preview. And as you can see, it'll swing up to the next number. I'm doing 200 points at a time. There's a decimal there, so let's get rid of the decimal. We're just going to go into display text. And we're going to go floor bracket bracket and that'll remove the decimal you won't um, have to worry about the decimal being in the score because you're actually going up by 200 at a time um, it's just when interpolating that you see the decimal so this will get this will remove it floor bracket game dot score bracket so I'll hit preview again and now you can see it counts up to 400 600 800 never missing a beat um, and it it's a cool ticking effect which is uh, pretty cool so that's all you need to do, and um, the project file will be available at gshelper.com underneath this video, so you can download and play with and take a look at. And I'll see you again in the next video.